here at the Detroit Carpenter Apprenticeship School in Ferndale, where it all started. Um, started my career back in 2015 in this exact building. Um, my father introduced me to the trades, but until I got into this school, this is where I became a carpenter. I'm here with my good friend, Malcolm Kennedy, a uh, fourth year apprentice. What's going on, Malcolm, you all right? I'm doing great today, how you doing? I can't complain, I can't complain at all. What you got, what you got going on here today? Today, we're actually going ahead and putting together some stringers. For more or less everyone, um, you're going to be able to do this same concept when it comes to decks as well as uh, commercial and residential. It's a very important aspect of construction. But nowadays, uh, if you have the skills to do them by hand yourself, you can be considered a true carpenter at that point. So how did you get started, Malcolm? Um, for quite a while, for quite a time, I've been doing construction uh, in and out, off and on for quite a while. It's always been an income for me, a secondary income. My primary background, though, is computers. But unfortunately, computer uh, industry changes every three to four years and things like that. And unfortunately, it doesn't give you opportunity to stay current with it. Um, got an opportunity to get back in construction and uh, found my passion again and uh, made it possible to take care of my family and my home. Did you grow up in Detroit? No, I'm actually originally from California. But when I come to Detroit, the first thing I noticed was all the historical homes here. Um, before I joined the union, I used to do historical restoration. And I was able to get into some of these houses and see some of the old school construction firsthand. Yeah, yeah. And being able to take some of these houses that you would think would be on a demo list or whatever the case may be, and being able to actually bring those properties back yeah. to something that you can be proud of is a very good experience. Being able to be hands on and be a part of something and actually see a result from your hard work, yeah. not just monetary, but actually a visual, yeah. a sense of accomplishment oh, yeah. is something that, that's something to be, uh, proud of as well. Take us back to when you first got into this industry as a first year apprentice. Um, talk about your experience. How, did, how, how was that experience for you? There's so much out there to learn. The school gives you that opportunity to learn multiple different traits of construction as well as the proper way to do construction. So, so once I came in it was a humbling experience and um, for the first couple years I just more or less catching up and try to make sure that I can uh, produce for my employer. If you were 18 year old or 17 year old graduating high school right um, the carpenter apprenticeship program is yes. four year program right yes. so you will be how old as a journeyman you're, you're, you're saying something like 23 to 24 or something right. like that I would like to take construction as an unlimited yeah. cap on your income yeah. is what you put into it you're talking seven days a week over time or you're talking about being able to do side projects for your family yeah. or for other small projects for yourself yeah. and you're able to have an unlimited resource of income at that point so you're telling me if I was able to start at 18, at this point, I'll probably have three or four rental properties. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, 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 everything should be basically paid off at that time, your house and everything. And you're talking about the quality of life being completely different. I'm blessed now, but I mean, you're talking about a completely different level Absolutely. at that point if you're able to get an early start on it. And, and I'm not talking about taking that time to pay back the loans for education. I'm not talking about losing money as you're trying to get an education. This school actually provides you with income as you're going to school. I'm actually getting paid to be here today. So I'm actually getting an opportunity to learn how to build something as well as pulling a check in for the day. That's, that's beautiful. That's, that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Absolutely. That high school student that may be on the fence of where he wants to, he or she wants to go in life after high school, what advice would you give them? I would definitely say uh, if, if you feel like college is not truly your fit, definitely get into the trades. I say definitely get into the carpenter apprentice program because no matter what knowledge that you have, if you don't have the documentation to back that up, it's really meaningless. Yeah. So you get that documentation, you get that strong knowledge behind your, behind your belt and you'll be able to thrive, yeah. not just survive, you'll be able to thrive as well as rebuild your own community. You know, funny story, I said my first house that I've lived in, me and my father built from the ground up because of the trade. Yeah. So uh, I know the value of the education, the trade, the trade education of being a carpenter, um, the values that this school brings to to me and other individuals like yourself, um, is an is an amazing uh, opportunity, you know. And like I said I got in. I didn't get in right out of high school. I said I got in a little later in life, uh, around 20, 22, 23 years old. But again, you know, if I would have known this opportunity then. What I'm glad is, is that you're here to actually give these young men and women the opportunity to see that there's opportunities to provide a decent way of life for themselves that doesn't necessarily involve college and, and, and end up debt free at the end of it. That's a, a huge key, you know, 
debt free. Debt free. Debt free. It seems like the the contractors that you are working for and for the individuals that are listening that you'll be working for, they see the investment, they see the opportunity yes. to collaborate with uh, programs like this yes. and they see the investment of letting you take off work to yes. come here yes. to, learn to learn what you're doing on the job site so that way you can be a better employee for them. Yes. With this school, you know if you send your employee to the school, you know they're getting the proper training. Yes. You know what's going on. So the thing is, you want to have as much skilled trades out there on your job site as possible because it's a reflection of your company as well. So it's not also a benefit to yourself, it's also a benefit to your employer as well that when you get here, you put in 110% um, and, and you're able to reflect that on the job site too as well. So um, it's, it, they're also investing in you as you're investing in yourself. With the different resources that the school and the union hall brings to that person looking for work, that that apprentice can also solicit their own work as well as well definitely i mean I, i'm, I'm kind of old school so i definitely believe in showing up to the job site showing that you want to work and show initiative and uh through hard work you are able to prosper absolutely for sure and then you think you're, you're talking about a 17 year old 18 year old when when they're thinking of their next move in the world yes i think it is extremely important for for kids and teenagers to be able to see how prosperous you can be with a little bit of hard work mm -hmm.